Good evening once again everybody and welcome back to Sydney High School for the varsity contest as we get ready. You see some stats there on your screen. Yellow Jackets come in at 13 and 3, 9 and 2 in the G Walk North. We'll show you those standings in just a second. Troy comes in at 6 and 10 and 5 and 6 in the G Walk North. Yellow Jackets averaging just over 67 points a game, which is actually I believe good enough for fourth in the entire G Walk. Troy averaging just under 61 points a game. Jackets with a slight rebounding and assist margin. A big difference there in turnovers. Troy averaging 18.5 turnovers per ball game, whereas the Jackets are only averaging 11.6. Yellow Jackets shooting better from the field. Troy shooting better from three point range. And both teams have had their struggles at the free throw line, uh, but the Jackets have done a little bit better from the charity stripe lately as they've upped that to 62%. As we mentioned before, let's take a look at the G-Walk American North standings. Sydney in first place, tied with Vandalia Butler. Vandalia Butler plays Greenville, who is 0-15 down there at the bottom tonight, whereas the Jackets play Troy. Troy is in third place currently, a stronghold on third place, as they are two games clear of tip. And then Piqua in fifth place in Greenville, rounding up the pack in sixth. Taking a look back at the first meeting, Back on December the 7th, the Yellow Jackets beat Troy 67 to 48. As we said in our JV broadcast, Josiah Hudgens had a huge game for the Yellow Jackets, 23 points, nailed a bunch of threes in that ball game. Andre Gordon didn't have a huge scoring game, but he did have a well-rounded game. He had 15 points, eight rebounds, and six assists. Same thing with Rotez Roberts, only five points, but look at that, 15 rebounds against the Trojans, six blocks and five assists. Trayvon Archie led Troy with 13 points. Caleb Fogarty had 10 points and five rebounds. And Caillou Monroe had eight points, nine rebounds, and four assists. A couple of notes coming into the ball game. Uh, just a couple of statistical measures. Sydney, these are in the entire 20-team G-Walk. Sydney is third in the G-Walk in points per game at 67. They're fourth in the G-Walk in field goal percentage at 47.2. Troy is third in the G-Walk and three-pointers made. They take a bunch of threes and they hit a good number of them as they have 110 th made threes on the year, good enough for third in the entire G-Walk. They are fifth in the G-Walk and steals with 167, so they're good at for forcing turnovers. And Sydney has the most block shots in the entire G-Walk, of course, led by the G-Walk leader in blocks, Rates Roberts. We'll take a look at the starting lineups as the teams continue to warm up and we go under five minutes to go until game time. The Jackets will send out their normal starting lineup. Number two, Rotez Roberts, the 6'3 senior forward, is averaging 11 points and 9.4 rebounds per contest. As we mentioned before, averaging 4.7 blocks, which is good enough for solo first in the entire G-Walk. Darren Taborn, number five, the 6'1 junior guard, comes in averaging 7.9 points per game, 3.8 rebounds, and 1.3 assists. Keith Lee, the 6'1 senior guard, comes in averaging 4.5 points a game and 2.8 rebounds to go along with 1.7 assists. Josiah Hudgens, as we mentioned, coming off of a big game against Tip with 17 points, upped his average to 8.6 points per game to go along with 2.7 rebounds and 1.2 assists. And, of course, the leader for the Jackets, number 20, Andre Gordon, the 6'2 senior guard, comes in averaging a G-Walk uh, I think fourth best, 23.4 points per contest, 5.3 rebounds, and second in the G-Walk and assist at 5.5 per contest. Andre is also averaging 2.8 steals per game and has upped his free throw percentage to nearly 77%. Troy will start number three, Austin Staniford. He is a 6'1", junior forward, averaging seven points and six rebounds a game. Number four, Braden Seiler, a 6'1", junior guard, is averaging four points and a rebound and a half per contest. Number 12, Caleb Fogarty, the six foot sophomore guard is averaging 8.4 points per contest to go along with three rebounds. Caillou Monroe has been their leader most of the year. Out comes in the 6'2", senior guard is number 15 and he comes in averaging 11.4 points per contest, 6.8 rebounds and 3.3 assists. But in the last seven games, excuse me, the last four games, the Trojans got back Number 21, Chris DeMeo, the 6'7 senior forward, is averaging 15 points a game to go along with five rebounds. 
So as we near the end of warm-up, Sparksy, what are your key for the keys for the Jackets to beat the Trojans tonight? Uh, some high-power defense definitely got to prevent Troy from the three-point line. As you can see, they've got some really high three-point shooters on here, 61%, 40%, and high 30s, and a couple of 50% there. So obviously they're going to have to stop that. But the Jackets got to have some high-powered offense too to go around to this uh, nice defense of Troy. And of course, the Jackets, the last couple games early in the year, the Jackets were notorious for being slow starters. Not the last couple of games. They jumped out on tip. Uh, and uh, who did we play Monday? Walpock. Walpock did the same thing that game as well. Yellow Jackets have started games a lot better, haven't they? Yes, they have. They've been very fired out. They've been shooting threes, lights out, and everything. Should be a good one. We've got two minutes to go until the end of warm-ups. We'll step away for about... A minute or two, we'll come back for the national anthem, and then we'll listen to Mr. Bickle give the starting lineups as we prepare for 6-10 and 10 Troy playing against 13-3 and 3 Sydney. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. This is SHS TV Productions. I'm Greg Snyder along with Caleb Sparks. Landon Johnson and Jacob Everingham will be running the camera tonight. Once again, thanks for joining us. We'll be back in just a minute. Thank <laughs> you. 
police, fire, and emergency medical services will be unavailable until tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. when the purge concludes. Sydney High School as we get ready for tip-off time. Once again, going over the starters real quick for the Jackets, number two, Roberts, number five, Taborn, number 11, Lee, number 20, Gordon, and number 23, Hudgens. For Troy, number three, Staniford, number four, Seiler, number 12, Fogarty, and the two leading scorers coming in, number 15, Monroe, and number 21, DeMeo. Looks like the 6-7 DeMeo is going to jump center against Rotez Roberts. As we're ready for Friday night, High School Basketball. Thanks for joining us, everybody. It's SHS TV Productions. The Jackets look to go to hopefully 14 and three if they can get by the Trojans. Tip is gonna be batted around and controlled in the front court by Fogarty from Troy. There's a cross court pass. Siler thinks about a three instead pull up jumper is no good. Tip is gonna go out near half court, is gonna be retrieved by Fogarty. Fogarty gives it to Monroe, long three ball from the right wing. No good off the back of the iron, rebound to Andre Gordon. Gordon has it stolen from behind by Staniford. Staniford gives it off to Siler, and he'll reset for Troy. Well, they fired two three balls already, Sparksy, just like we thought. Yeah. Monroe has it working on Hudgens. Monroe drives left. He'll kick it out to Siler. Siler gets it on the right side to Fogarty. There's another three ball that's no good. Troy 0-3 from beyond the arc. Josiah Hudgens cleans up the rebound, and here come the Jackets. Darren Taborn thinks about a three of his own on the left side, instead gives it to Andre Gordon on the left wing. Gordon gives it up top to Hudgens. Hudgens will drive down the lane, get all the way to the hoop, oh. lay it up, no good, rebound to Braden Siler from Troy. Siler will bring it across half court as we've played a minute in the varsity contest. He passes it into the corner to Fogarty who gives it up top to Monroe. Monroe, pull up 18 footer is no good off the front of the iron, rebound cleaned up by Rotez Roberts. Andre Gordon quickly up the right side to Darren Taborn. Eurostep is swatted away by DeMeo, but Hudgens recovers for the Jackets. He gives it to Roberts, who hands it off to Gordon. Gordon drives left all the way down the lane. Reverse layup, Dipsy oh, Dewey nice. lays it up and in. Andre Gordon starts off the scoring. He has two, and the Yellow Jackets lead two to nothing. Braden Seiler, the 6'1 junior, has it for Troy. He gives it off to Monroe. Monroe goes into the corner to DeMeo. DeMeo's going to be started off, guarded by Darren Taborn. Ball goes inside to Staniford. Spin move is swatted oh, away by Roberts, Robert. but recovered by Troy. Fogarty, he kicks it out to Siler, passes it into the left corner to DeMeo, back to Siler, who resets for Troy. DeMeo driving right on Taborn. Taborn stays in front of him, so he'll pass it off to Siler, who gets it to Staniford. Give and go, gives it back to Siler. Driving down the right side, his floater is no good. Rebound to Keith Lee. Lee quickly up the floor for the Jackets. Gets all the way to the cup with the left hand. No good. Rebound on the backside to Andre Gordon. Gordon turns around in the lane. He'll rise above everybody and hit Oh, it. nice shot. Gordon with four. Nice play by Lee on one end. Gordon cleans it up on the other end, and the Jackets lead four to nothing. Monroe has it. He'll pass it on the left side to Fogarty. Nearly fouled by Lee. Instead, the ball goes into the corner to Braden Seiler. Seiler working on Gordon. We'll pass it into the corner to DeMeo. The 6'7 senior fires a three ball from the corner. No good. Rebound on the back side again to Keith Lee. Lee gives it to Roberts. He gives it to Gordon. Pushes it up on the right side to Taborn. Taborn goes to the high post area to Rotez Roberts. Roberts kicks it out to Hudgens. Three ball. Top of the key. Oh, banks it in. It's snowing outside, but the bank's open. <laughs> I guess it's not snowing tonight, is it? <laughs> Yellow Jackets off to an early 7-0 lead. Timeout by Troy. We'll be back in just a moment.
Well, once again, Sparksy, the Jackets jump out to a big lead. Let's see if they can continue to push forward this time. Hopefully. A quick, quick shout out to Cole Smith as he's enjoying what we are doing right well, now. Well, that's great. I have many goals in life, but one of them is to make sure that Cole Smith is happy. So. <laughs> Caillou Monroe setting the offense for the Trojans. He hands it off to Caleb Fogarty, who hands it off to Braden Seiler. Seiler goes in the high post area to Staniford, working on Rotez Roberts, stripped by Gordon, but Staniford retains possession. He'll go against Roberts. Ball is not blocked. Here comes Andre Gordon, quickly up the left side. He lays it in on a long pass from Roberts. Roberts affects the shot, doesn't block it, but gets another shot affected. Caillou Monroe. Starts the offense with Troy losing, trailing, excuse me, 9-0. to zero. Seiler gives it to Monroe. Three ball from the right side, in and out, no good. Troy now 0-5 from beyond the arc. Rotez Roberts hangs on to the rebound. He gets it off to Gordon. Gordon with six points. Gives it on the left side to Hudgens, who has the other three for the Jackets. Ball swung around. Tate Barn, three ball, right oh, side. Oh, Got nice. it. Nice, great ball for the start of this game. Yellow Jackets hitting on all cylinders to start the game. They lead 12 to nothing halfway through the first quarter. Playing good offense, playing good defense, getting scoring from many places. A good start for the Jackets. Seiler will give the ball deep in the right corner to Fogarty. Fogarty gives it in the high post area to Staniford. Staniford, instead of going against Roberts, will swing it to the left side to Seiler. Ball's tipped out of bounds, will stay with Troy. We're going to get our first substitutions of the ball game for Troy, number 23, Olden, and number five, Jaden Owens, will check in for DeMeo and Fogarty. Caillou Monroe will inbound from the side. Gets the ball into Siler. Siler will work on Darren Taborn, who is guarding DeMeo early on. Caillou Monroe has the ball. Good player. Josiah Hudgens doing a nice job on him. There's a step back jumper by Monroe that rattles home. So the Trojans are on the board. They still trail by 10, 12 to two. Keith Lee swings the ball to Josiah Hudgens. He's working out near half court. We'll give it to Rotez Roberts, high on the left. Roberts working on Monroe. Circles around the right side, drives down the lane, collects himself, misses the layup, rebound, comes down into the hands of Old Dean. Old Dean quickly up the floor for Troy, spin move in the lane, goes against Taborn, lays it up, no good, gets his own rebound. Second shot is up and in. Good offensive play there. Olden, excuse me, I said Old Dean. Olden has two points, it's 12 to eight. Josiah Hudgens has the ball. He swings it to the right side to Darren Taborn. Taborn kicks it to Hudgens, fires a three ball from the left wing, oh. no good off the back of the iron. Rebound cleaned up by Caillou Monroe. Monroe brings it across half court, working on Hudgens. He'll hand it off to Olden, who gives it near the volleyball line to Owens. Owens goes back to Monroe. Josiah Hudgens doing a nice job on Monroe early on. As Monroe drives with the right hand, that's great defense, just better offense. Yeah, pretty fantastic play, actually. So the Yellow Jackets start the game on a 12-0 run. Troy answers with a 6-0 run, and that's our score right now, 12-6. Andre Gordon starts the offense, gives it to Rotez Roberts. Ooh. Roberts tries for Gordon underneath on the back cut, just a little bit high and wide, and it goes out of bounds and over to Troy. Calm down. Substitution, number 24, Sam Shaneyfeld checks in. And the Jackets will make their first substitution as number one, Dominic Durr, the 5'11 junior, checks in for Josiah Hudgens. 2.05 to go in the first quarter. Braden Seiler running the point guard duties right now for the Trojans as he works on Dominic Durr. He passes it high on the right to Monroe. Gives it off to Olden. Olden with a foot fake. Stops, pops from 15 feet, no good off the back of the iron. Rebound cleaned up by Roberts again. Roberts quickly to Gordon as he pushes the ball up the left side, guarded by Seiler. Gordon loses the handle into the hands of Monroe. Monroe drives the length of the floor, oh. tries to dunk it, but is contested by Gordon. Ball's going to go out of bounds, and we're going to get a little bit of a conference here, and it's going to stay with Troy. I've, I've never seen the ball Monroe, go so high. Monroe, uh, I think he's hearing it from the front row of the Jackets right there for that dunk attempt. Boy, he's a good athlete. Yeah. Pass on the left wing to Owens. He gives it in the high post area to Siler. Siler working on Dom Durr will give it back to Monroe. 120 to go in the first quarter. Monroe working on Darren Tabor. Coach Bremingen, of course, 
had many battles with Coach Willoughby in the Shelby County League when Bremingen was at Rushi and Coach Willoughby was at Houston. And he looks like he's electing to spread the floor here and burn some time and maybe even get the last shot. Andre Gordon, though, is going for the steal, giving a little bit of pressure as the ball goes to Owens. Cross-court pass stolen by Roberts. Roberts picks it up in the backcourt. We'll give it to Gordon. Now the Yellow Jackets have a chance as he Gordon takes it across half court, gives it to Roberts between the circles. Andre. Pass on the right side to Keith Lee. Keith Lee working on Olden. We'll give it between the circles to Darren Taborn. Taborn with a crossover move into the lane. It's tipped from behind by Owens. Taborn saves it into the hands of Dom Durr. Durr stops and tries to make a pass that is swatted away, but Rotez Roberts gets it back and it's off his leg. Nice play by Braden Seiler from Troy. And Troy will have the ball with 22.7 to go. Boy, after that hot start, the Jackets on a little bit of a cold streak. Yeah. We haven't scored in quite a while, Sparksy. No, we haven't. I think we just need to calm down a little bit. We got this. It's okay. Kind of been a theme this year for the Jackets, at least in the last couple of weeks. Get out to a big start and then hit a little bit of the skids. We'll see if the Jackets can regain everything. Olden has the balls. He's working on Gordon. Ball's going to be stolen again by Roberts. Roberts looks at the clock, stops at half court. Three Ooh. balls no good off the backboard. Rotez Roberts with a great defensive first quarter with a, several rebounds, a couple of blocks, and several steals as well. Yellow Jackets outscore Troy in the first quarter 12 to 6. Led in scoring by Andre Gordon with six. Darren Taborn and Josiah Hudgens each with three. Troy got four from Caillou Monroe and two from Shaden Nordine off the bench. And we'll be back for the second quarter in just a moment. Well, Sparksy, I promised a shout out. Sometimes we screw up up here because it's so bright, because the floor is so shiny, because our custodians, Mr. Schaffner and Mr. Martin, do such a wonderful job. Of course, we affectionately know Mr. Schaffner as Shoffy in the TV productions world, but <laughs> thanks for all that you do and all the support staff at Sydney, our custodians, our cooks, sec secretaries, everybody. Uh, we, we appreciate everything that goes on behind the scenes to get set up for a game like this. A game in which the Jackets lead 12 to 6. Andre Gordon has the ball at the volleyball line. As the Jackets open the second quarter with the ball, Rotez Roberts gives it to Keith Lee, thinks about a three ball, then thinks about driving, instead gives it to Darren Taborn. Taborn kicks it to Lee, swings it in the right corner to Durr. Durr goes into the post. Andre Gordon spins baseline, and he stepped out of bounds. Boy, I like that, though. I like getting Andre yeah. in the post zone. Yes, I, I do, too. I like the ball movement, too, by the Jackets. Go inside out, inside out, pass it in. So Troy with the ball after the Yellow Jacket turnover. Caillou Monroe has it working on Darren Taborn. He drives right. Taborn takes it away from him, but not before we get a travel. Good call. Good call. Good defense by Darren Taborn. So Taborn's steal or cause turnover will get the ball back over to the Jackets. Caillou Monroe will sit down as Braden Seiler will check in. He's joined on the floor by Fogarty, Olden, Staniford, and DeMeo. Andre Gordon works off a ball screen, gets to the hole, oh, nice. lays it up and in. Boy, he was pretty high there. Yeah, pretty high up there. Nice move by Andre Gordon. He has eight. Now he's got a steal on Olden. Gordon working, getting to the hoop. He's bodied, lays it up and in. Oh, oh we called it on the floor. So the Jackets will inbound underneath their own basket, but another nice play by Andre Gordon. Very nice play. The foul here in the second quarter is the first foul of the ball game. How about that? The foul is on Olden, his first, like we said, the first of the ball game. Andre Gordon looking for somebody to pass it into. Goes out near half court to Darren Taborn, and we've got a pushing foul. They had to either call over a Mac or a foul, yeah. but he elected to call the foul. The foul's on Staniford, his first, the second. In about five seconds on Troy. Keith Lee will give it into Darren Taborn. Taborn. We'll run the point guard duties this possession as he works on Stanford, gets it to Keith Lee, who was going to try to get it into the post. Andre Gordon, ball is stolen, but recovered by Gordon. Nice oh, pass underneath nice. the door, lays it up and in. Good heads up play by Andre Gordon. 
We've got an official timeout just to make sure that everybody down there in the corner that was tangled up is okay. Josiah Hudgens is gonna check back in. He's gonna replace Keith Lee, who's gonna sit down. Boy, what a heads up play by Gordon. Oh, very heads up play. Good job by Dominic Durr to make himself available as well. The Yellow Jackets push the lead to 10. 16 to six here, early second quarter. Olden has the ball for Troy. He passes on the right side to Fogarty. Fogarty hits a cutting. Braden Seiler, who shuffles his feet before putting the ball on the ground, and that's a travel. Caillou Monroe will check back in. He replaces Seiler. Yellow Jacket defense has been pretty solid so far, Sparksy. Yes, it has. Giving up a couple offensive rebounds on a couple of possessions, but overall the yeah, Jackets have done a nice job on the glass led by Rontez Roberts yeah, as well. Yeah, you're not going to get them all, but they've been pretty, pretty amazing so far. Andre Gordon with a stutter step move. He lays it off the glass. No good. Rebound tipped to himself by Caillou Monroe. He pushes it quickly up the left side to DeMeo. DeMeo nice to the lane and lays it up. No good, but he's fouled by Dominic Durr. That foul on Dominic Durr is the Yellow Jackets' first foul of the ball game. And that's going to send DeMeo to the line where he is a, how about this? He's a 62% free three-point shooter, but only a 30% free throw shooter. Wow. His first shot is good. Of course, I put the reverse jinx on him <laughs> as he cans the first one and looks good doing so. That cuts the lead to nine at 16 to seven. The Mayo eyes the second shot. It's good. Neither one of those, they barely even hit the net. Yeah. Okay. The Yellow Jackets have doubled up Troy as Troy cuts the lead to eight, 16 to eight. Andre Gordon looking at a trap, swings it to Josiah Hudgens, high on the left, kicks it into the corner. Darren Taborn, three ball, no good, off the back of the iron, rebound on the backside. Dom Durr battles for it, but it ends up in the hands of DeMeo. DeMeo hands it off to Caillou Monroe, who will bring it up the floor. He hands it off to Olden. Olden working on Darren Taborn, hits a cutting Chris, I'm sorry, Fogarty, who hands it off to Olden, working on Darren Taborn again, kicks it to Staniford. His jump shot just outside the lane rattles home. Stanford cuts the lead to six. It's 16 to 10. Andre Gordon splits a trap in the backcourt. Nice dump off pass to Rotez Roberts. Ball's going to be tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with the Jackets, but a nice play by Olden. Trey Wern's checking in for his first action as he replaces Dom Durr. Number five, Jaden Owens checks back in for Troy, replacing Caleb Fogarty. Andre Gordon passes it in to Darren Taborn. His 15 footer's no good. Rebound lands in the lap of Andre Gordon. Is working on Monroe, tipped from behind into the hands of Roberts. He gets it uh -huh. to Taborn, who lays it up and in. Nice pass by Rotez Roberts. Good finish by Taborn. He has five, and the lead is eight for the Jackets. Pull up jump shot by Olden is no good. Wurntz with the rebound quickly to Darren Taborn. Right handed Beautiful. layup. Good. Unbelievable pass by Trey Wurntz. Good heads up play by Wurntz. Taborn with back to back buckets. He has seven, and the Jackets have doubled up Troy again at 20 to 10. There's a drive by Jaden Owens. He's going to be bodied by Darren Taborn. That'll be Taborn's first foul. We'll see if we get two shots. It looks like we will, and we will. The free throw shooter is Jaden Owens, who's been to the line several times this year. A 67% free throw shooter has been there 48 for 48 shots, 32 for 48. Owens, the six-foot sophomore guard, averaging 10 points a game, cans the first for his first point. Substitution, Trayvon Archie is going to replace Shaden Olden. Archie, of course, led the Trojans in scoring when the Jackets played down at Troy back in December, seeing his first action of the ball game with 4.58 to go in the first half. Owen's second shot is also good. He has two points, and it's an eight-point lead. Gordon will give it to Rotez Roberts. As Troy's extending their pressure a little bit. There's a foul as Roberts splits a trap crossing half court on Chris DeMeo. Foul on DeMeo. Is his first, Troy's third. Yellow Jackets will inbound on the side. Hudgens gives it to Gordon, back to Hudgens. Nice move by, by Josiah Hudgens, gets his own rebound, lays it up, no good off the back of the iron. Good aggressive move by Josiah, just couldn't convert. Staniford gets the rebound. Ball is tipped by Andre Gordon in the backcourt, ends up in the hands of Trayvon Archie. Archie gets it to Krista Mayo, guarded closely by Gordon. Swings it to Caillou Monroe. 
Monroe working on Josiah Hudgens. Kicks it to DeMeo. Three ball from the right corner. No good. Rebound tipped by Caillou Monroe, but he climbed the back of Josiah Hudgens to do so. The foul on Monroe is his first. Troy's fourth. Trey Wernz is going to inbound, facing the full court pressure with Andre Gordon. Gordon clears everything out, working on Caillou Monroe. Gordon's going to get ran and jump by Trayvon Archie. He beats the double team with a pass into Wernz. Wernz with a left-handed move toward the bucket, misses it. Rebound cleaned up by Monroe. Monroe quickly across half court, fires the three ball from the right wing, banks it in. Caillou Monroe was seven, and the lead is only five halfway through the second quarter. Darren Taborn seeing a double team. Now we'll swing it to Roberts. Roberts quickly to Gordon. He fires a three ball from the left wing. No good off the back of the iron. Rebound cleaned up by DeMeo. DeMeo gets it to Monroe, to Archie. He brings it up, thinks about a three ball. Instead, we'll pass it to Owens on the left. Now Monroe deep from the left wing. No good off the back of the iron. Rebound by Darren Taborn. Taborn gives it off to Gordon, who will slow it down for the Jackets. Andre Gordon working on Caillou Monroe. Passes on the right wing to Josiah Hudgens. Hudgens will give it between the circles to Wernz. Gordon drives down the left side and hammers it home. And one. Andre Gordon with his 10th point. Hammers it home and gets fouled and will get a free throw. Fouls on number five, Jaden Owens. His first. Keith Lee checks back in for the Jackets. Andre Gordon. We'll see his first free throw of the game, a 76.9% free throw shooter. And it goes in and out, rebounded by Caillou Monroe. Monroe bringing the ball across half court, working on Trey Wernz. He's going to back it out. Now we'll pass it into the corner to Trayvon Archie. Archie thinks about going inside to Stanford. Instead, we'll back it out. Now we'll go in the short corner to DeMeo. 18-footer is no good. Rebound on the backside. Timed perfectly by Trey Wernz. He gives it to... Keith Lee. Keith Lee quickly up the floor, splits a trap, right hand to layup to the bucket, makes it, but travel. If they said that he caught it on his hip there. Yeah. Substitution number 23, Shaden Olden, and number 24, Sam Shaneyfelt, will check in for Troy. Also, number four, Braden Seiler checking in as Monroe will take a break. Just over three minutes to go, Jackets lead by seven in the first half. Led in scoring by Andre Gordon with 10. Caillou Monroe has seven for the Trojans. Here's Chris DeMeo working on Wernz. Kicks it out to Seiler. Seiler goes into the high post area to Shaneyfeld, who swings it to Olden. Olden gets around Gordon. His pass, though, is tipped by Hudgens. Ends up in the hands of DeMeo. Three ball from the left corner is no good. Rebound. Tipped away from Roberts into the hands of Josiah Hudgens. Andre Gordon driving down the lane. Floats to the basket. Lays it up and in. Gordon with 12. As he's getting to the hole at will right now, and the Jackets lead by nine. Gordon with a near steal on Olden. He's got he's picked his pocket once already today. Now he's going to run and jump. There's a tip by Trey Wernz. Ball on the floor is going to be eventually picked up by Wernz. Wernz gives it to Hudgens. Hudgens thinks about stopping for a three instead. Tries to hit a cutting Keith Lee. Just on his back hip and all out of bounds. And the Jackets turn it over. Troy brings the ball across half court. Two minutes to go in the first half. Yellow Jackets in control at the moment by nine. Jumped out to a 12-0 lead, and it has stayed in that eight-point range for a while. Rautez Roberts with the steal. He's working on Siler, lays uh-huh. it up and in. It's great defensive play there. Rautez Roberts with another steal. He's got four or five of those in the early going. This time it leads to a bucket. There's a near steal by Keith Lee. Ends up in the hands of Owens, and we're going to get a travel. Good call. Good play by Keith Lee. Caillou Monroe will check in for DeMeo. And the Jackets have the ball and an 11-point lead. And we'll see what the Jackets run after this 30-second timeout. 1.40 to go in the first quarter. We'll be back in just a second.
Well, Sparksy, the Jackets shown some pretty good energy so far in this yes, ballgame. Yes, they have. Especially on this side of the end of court. Uh, well, you can't see it. The defensive end of the court uh, getting some pretty amazing steals there and off offensive plays. Absolutely. Holding Troy to 15 points as we near the end of the first half. That's quite a feat. Hopefully the Jackets can finish the last minute and a half the same way they've started this half. Andre Gordon swings it to Rates Roberts over to Josiah Hudgens. Thinks about a three ball. Now it's going to be swung to Rates Roberts. Oh! Whoa! Drives down the lane. That surprised me. He rises above everybody and hammers it home. Rates Roberts showing off. He's got four. 28 to 15 is the jacket lead. Caillou Monroe has it working between the legs on Josiah Hudgens. He'll drive down the right side, kicks it to Siler, thinks about a three ball, instead is going to drive on Warrens, pulls up from 15 feet and cans it. Nice shot. Nice play by Braden Siler. He's got two. And that cuts the lead back to 11. Andre Gordon calls out the play for the Jackets. Troy's looking to trap a lot now, and the Jackets have done a nice job of finding the open person. Gordon gets it back near the circle as Siler creeps a little closer to get Gordon to pass it to Keith Lee as the Jackets are toying with the idea of maybe holding for the last shot here. Gordon holding near half court. Gives it to Hudgens as we go under 20 seconds. Gordon gets it back. Hudgens inside to Roberts. His drop step move is stripped by Troy out of bounds, and the Jackets will have it underneath the bucket with 8.3 remaining in the first half. Keith Lee will trigger for the Jackets. He gets it into Gordon. Gordon working on Siler. Stops and does an up and under move. That is no good. Ball saved in the hands of Keith Lee, but not before the end of the first half. The Jackets with a pretty solid first half as they lead 28 to 17 at halftime. Sparksy, your thoughts on the first half? Well, they uh, stopped three-point three point shooting from Troy like we asked them to, and there's some very, pretty good athletic plays too, and uh, yeah, I think it should be a good second half. It's a great point. The only three-pointer so far by Troy was a banked-in three by Caillou Monroe. Other than that, the Jackets have done a nice job of getting some pressure. After one, the Jackets led 12 to six. They outscored Troy in the second quarter, 16 to 11, to bring us to a halftime score of 28 to 17. Jackets led in scoring by Andre Gordon. He has six buckets for 12 points. Darren Taborn has seven at half, including a three ball and two twos. Rates Roberts has two buckets, including that impressive dunk for four points. And Josiah Hudgens had an early three ball, which he's also banked in for three points. And Dominic Durr added a bucket for two points. Troy led in scoring by Caillou Monroe. He has seven points. Chris DeMeo has added two, as well as Shaden Olden with two, Austin Staniford with two, Braden Seiler with two, and Jaden Owens with two. It's halftime as some of the young Jackets are down there showing off their skills. So we'll turn off the volume and let you enjoy that. We'll be back in seven or eight minutes as we get ready for the second half. Jackets lead by 11, 28 to 17. Thanks for joining us.
Welcome back to halftime here at Sydney High School. As we near the end of halftime in the Yellow Jackets holding on to an 11 point lead. 28 to 17 led the scoring by Andre Gordon with 12, Darren Taborn with seven. Let me say uh, that we at TV Productions really appreciate um, the outpouring of support that we've gotten for what we've been doing this year with the live streaming. And we promise in the future that we're gonna continue to expand and keep trying to get better. We know that uh, people wanna see road games and we're gonna try to do that. We have to, we have to spend a little bit of money to do that, I think. Um, and we're of course gonna try to get to as many events as we can, uh, different types of events. Big ones coming up. We will broadcast live the Hall of Honor ceremony. We will broadcast graduation live, especially if it's in here in the gym, because we know that we can't that uh, they can't accommodate everybody then. But we appreciate we're we're going to try to get more camera angles. We appreciate the suggestions and just know that as we generate revenue and going forward, we will continue to put things toward those that people would like to see. So thanks for joining us. Thanks for making this a success so far. Thank you. We're getting ready to start the second half. It looks like Troy will have the ball. They send out, not their starters, excuse me. They're gonna send out Staniford and St Siler who started. They're gonna send out Caillou Monroe and Chris DeMeo, but instead of Fogarty, they're gonna send out Shaden Oldeen. Siler has the ball as he initiates the offense into the high post to Staniford, kicks it to Siler, guarded by Gordon. Gets it up top to Monroe. Monroe kicks it to the left side to Siler, working on Andre Gordon. Nice series of cuts by Troy, but the Jackets do a nice job of shutting them down. Here comes Monroe. He'll hand it off to Siler, who passes it to Olden on the left side into the corner to Siler. Siler gives it to Monroe, thinks about a three ball. Foot fake on Hudgens. He drives to the lane, blocked by Roberts. Roberts tips it to Gordon, and here come the Jackets. Gordon to Roberts. Over to Taborn, left hand layup, gets hit on the head. Doesn't make the layup, but Darren Taborn to go to the basket. Good job by the Jackets. Once again, Sparksy turning good defense yeah, into some again, offense. Once again, getting a steal and going all the way. This time, driving the foul. Darren Taborn has seven points. He's a 57% free throw shooter on the year, averaging 7.9 points per contest. So he's almost right at that. As he, the first free throw goes in and out, the foul's on number 23, Olden, his second, the first of the second half, of course. Darren Taborn makes the second free throw, and he now has his average at about eight points. The Jackets push the lead to 12. Shaden Olden has the ball working on Keith Lee. As he dribbles between the legs, Siler cuts up top and gets the ball from Olden. Wants to swing the ball, but the Jackets doing a nice job of denying the wing entries. Siler working on Gordon as Gordon creeps closer. We'll hand it off to Monroe. Monroe driving left, step back, 18 footer is no good, in and out, rebound. On the backside to DeMeo. He goes all the way to the other side of the hoop. His layup is missed. Rotez Roberts battles for the rebound and comes up with it. With it. Great play by Rotez. Rotez gets across half court, gives it to Hudgens, swings it to Keith Lee. Keith Lee drives the baseline. His layup's no good, cleaned up by Roberts who misses the layup. And Austin Stanifer from Troy comes down with a rebound. Monroe quickly to Siler on the left side. He shot fakes, gets in the lane. His floater is no good. Rebound is out of Chew Jacket's hands, into the hands of Staniford, but even he can't corral it, and the ball will go over to Sydney. Keith Lee inbounds to Andre Gordon, who's going to bring the ball up the floor. Working on Siler as he's trapped, gets it to Keith Lee, who swings it into the corner to Hudgens. Josiah Hudgens now is trapped. Hudgens will give it to Roberts, who gives it into Keith Lee at the elbow area. Lee turns, pivots, and pivots too many times as he gets called for a travel. Substitution number five, Jaden Owens, will check in for Troy as he replaces Braden Siler. Kind of a slow start to here to the second half by both teams. The Jackets have a point, Troy hasn't scored yet, as we're over two minutes into the third quarter. Olden has the ball, passes into the corner to Owens, just checked into the ball game, gives it to Monroe between the circles, goes inside to Staniford. Staniford spins on Roberts, lays it up and in. It's a nice move. Good move by Staniford, the lefty goes to his right hand, cuts the lead to 10, 
And here comes Gordon working on Monroe. Gordon calls out the play, gives it to Lee. Gordon with a nice snap nice. pass inside to Keith Lee, who lays it up and in. Good pass by Andre Gordon. There's a spin move by Olden at half court. He pulls up from 17 feet and cans it. Nice jump shot. Olden now has four. Here comes Andre Gordon. Gordon will kick it out as Troy did a nice job from the help side. There's a long three by ball by Josiah Hudgens. It's no good. Rebound by Monroe. Here comes Caillou Monroe quickly up the floor. Kicks it to DeMeo. Pull up 18 footer is good. Back to back buckets by Troy and it's an eight point ball game. DeMeo with four, the six seven senior. Josiah Hudgens has the ball. Hudgens will pass it to Rotez Roberts. Roberts is stripped by Olden, who's quickly coming down the floor. Troy has numbers. He dumps it off to Owens, plays it up and in, and a timeout by the Jackets. It's a six point game. The Yellow Jackets struggling here at the beginning of the third quarter. 31 to 25 is the score. We'll be back after this timeout. Back here at Sydney High School, sluggish start for the Jackets in the third quarter, but Sparksy, we got to give Troy a little bit of credit. Yeah, they made they, some nice buckets here oh, yeah. the last couple minutes and have come out with some energy. Plus they've been playing a little hidden defense back there, getting a lot of steals recently in the beginning of this quarter. So uh, yeah, got to give a lot of credit to them. We'll see if the Jackets can right the ship a little bit here. Dom Durr, the official lays the ball on the ground, gives it to Andre Gordon, who's going to bring the ball up the floor working on Monroe. See what adjustments the Jackets make here. Andre Gordon will give it to Rotez Roberts. Goes inside to Gordon. Double team, nice no look pass to a cutting Keith uh -huh. Lee who lays it up and in. Good play beautiful, call. Another uh -huh. beautiful pass by Gordon. Lee has his second bucket of the second half. He has four points. And the Jackets break up the Troy run. There's a nice step back jumper though by Shaden Olden. And Troy answers to cut the lead back to six halfway through the third quarter. Andre Gordon. Working on Monroe again. Gets it to Roberts. High post area to Dom Durr. Durr will back it out. Now give it to Andre Gordon. High on the right. Gordon, foot fake, gets into the lane all the way to the hoop, lays yeah, it up high. and in. Gordon now with 14. Troy quickly up the floor. Olden, who has back-to-back -back buckets for the Trojans, working on Dom Durr. Gives it. There's a three ball way outside by Owens. It doesn't go, but the rebound to Staniford. His spin move. Left-handed shot is no good. Dom Durr gets the rebound. Durr holds it up. He'll give it to Gordon as the Jackets try to push the lead back to double figures. Gordon passes it to Keith Lee, who gives it to Rotez Roberts at the top of the key. Gordon asking for a ball screen and gets it. Now will drive down the lane. Floats in the lane. Ball stripped. He gets his own rebound. Turnaround jump shot's no good. Rebound by Austin Staniford from Troy. Caillou Monroe gives it to Oldine, quickly up the right side, picked up by Table. Oldine with a stop and go move, kicks it to the corner. Nice pass. There's a three ball by DeMeo that doesn't go. Rebound on the backside to Oldine. Olden goes inside to DeMeo, back out to Olden. And the offensive rebound starting to hurt him a little bit, Sparksy. Yes, they are. Oh, there we go. There's a tip by Andre Gordon, recovered by Rotez hey, nice Roberts. Play. Beautiful play by Roberts and Gordon. Gordon to Taborn, knifing to the bucket, oh, misses oh. the layup. Rebound by Caillou Monroe. Monroe to Owens, quickly up the floor. Troy has numbers, lob pass to DeMeo. His layup is no good. Rebounded by Keith Lee, who is out of bounds. Sorry, he called timeout. So the Jackets call timeout. 2.22 to go in the third quarter. They'll inbound underneath their own basket. It's gonna be a 30 second timeout. We'll be back in just a second.
upcoming schedule. The Jackets are at St. Mary's tomorrow against Lehman at home next Monday. No freshman. No freshman game. Good point, Sparksy. JV game will start promptly at 6, followed by the varsity game, but there is no freshman game at 4.30. Durr, Gordon, Lathan Jones checking in for his first action. Keith Lee and Rotez Roberts for the Jackets. Gordon gives it to Keith Lee. Has a high on the right. Goes inside to Rotez Roberts. Roberts turns to his left shoulder, right-handed. Jump oh, shot in the lane. Stay goes. Lead. Stay in there. Get tough. Good entry pass by Keith Lee. Great move by Roberts. He has 6, and the lead's back to 10. Owens driving right for Troy, lays it off the glass, no good. Rebound by Lathan Jones. Jones gives it to Andre Gordon, quickly up the floor for the Jackets. He's working on Siler, dribbles into the lane, loses control, stolen away by Troy. Fogarty has it, he'll give it to Olden, brings it up the floor. Olden working on Dom Durr, passes off on the right side to Braden Siler. Siler goes inside for Shaneyfeld, nearly stolen by Roberts. Turnaround jump shot is no good. Cleaned up by Roberts, who gives it to Gordon for the Jackets. One and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. Oh, nice. Dom Durr, nice to the hole. Doesn't get the shot to go. Rebound by Fogarty. We'll give it over to Shaneyfeld for Troy. Owens has it. Back to Olden. Olden driving. He's been very active here in the third quarter. Wow. Nice spinning jump shot there by Olden. He has eight. Long pass is going to be tipped and nearly stolen by Troy. Roberts will no! follow it to Gordon, who puts it home. Beautiful pass by Rotez Roberts, and Andre Gordon does what Andre Gordon does and hammers it home. He has 16, and the Jackets answer. There's a long three ball by Olden. He's on fire. Olden with 11. Nine of those here in this quarter. Gordon beats a trap along the sideline, goes behind the back. He wants to kick it, but couldn't get the handle. Now we'll give it to Keith Lee, who lays it up nice. and in. Pass. Andre Gordon has hit Keith Lee for three layups in this quarter. Nice finish by Lee. We've got a little bit of action here. Things have picked up. Jaden Owens has it high on the right. Gives it to Siler. Back to Owens. Owens will drive on Keith Lee. His step through jump shot is no good. Keith Lee skies for the rebound and gets it. He gives it to Dom Durr. The Jackets think about breaking, but instead will pull it back. Now Rotez Roberts. Goes inside to Lathan Jones, who will give it back to Roberts, and the Jackets will hold it for the last one. Lee gives it to Gordon. Back to Roberts. The ball's going to be stolen away by Shaneyfelt. Shaneyfelt fires a long desperation shot at the buzzer that's no good, and that'll end the third quarter. The Yellow Jackets, led by 11 going into the third quarter, will lead by 9 going out of the third quarter. As they lead 41-32, to we'll be back for the fourth quarter and the finish in just a minute. Well, Sparks says, give a little credit to Troy. How about that quarter by Shaden Olden? He had nine points and hit some tough shots. Oh, well, that was fantastic. That little spin around shot right there, that was pretty good. Well, let's not forget that Troy's defense there, too, in the quarter. Yeah, that absolutely. Was Jackets will send out Gordon Lee, Jones, Durr, and Roberts. Trayvon Archie checks in for Troy. Andre Gordon has the ball. So the Jackets look to run a set here to start the fourth quarter. Keith Lee will back it out. As the cross screen underneath was not there, he'll give it to Lathan Jones. Jones hands it off to Gordon. Gordon always with several eyes on him. His defense is always looking to help or double him. Nice pass underneath by Gordon. Keith Lee will give it back to Andre. Step back three is no good off the front of the iron. Rebound cleaned up on the backside by Fogarty. Fogarty oh, steal. barely gets the ball to Archie before Gordon steals it who pushes it up the floor to Staniford. He'll bring it back out front to set the offense. There's going to be a foul on the left wing by Gordon, and much like the first half, the Jackets' first foul of the second half doesn't occur until the second quarter. Darren Taborn's going to check in for Andre Gordon. 
give him a quick breather. Gordon sits down with 16 points. Of course, the Yellow Jackets have played. This will be their fourth game in seven days. Tomorrow will be five and eight. Trayvon Archie with a double pump shot that's no good. Rebound to Darren Taborn. Here come the Jackets with numbers. Taborn all the way to the hole, lays it up, good. Strong move by Darren Taborn, he has 10. Good job by Lathan Jones running the floor to pull away the defender. Taborn takes advantage. Monroe, three ball, good. Oh my, not the net. Caillou Monroe has 10 to join Olden in double figures who has 11. And the Trojans hanging around. They only trail by eight. Dom Durr with the ball. Durr has the ball stripped by Archie near half court. Archie will go to the hole. Shot is affected by Durr, but Troy playing volleyball with it. It will end up with a basket on a putback by Chris DeMeo. We're gonna get a timeout by Troy. It's gonna be a full timeout, 43 to 37. It's a six point ball game, 6.28 to go. We'll be back in just a minute. All right, Sparks, this has kind of been the theme. Jack is just unable to put people away. Yep. But it doesn't matter. Get the win. Get the win. Hopefully the Jackets can right the ship here a little bit as Troy seems to have a little bit of momentum as they're feeling pretty comfortable on offense the last couple of possessions. Yeah, just got to stop the threes here. Andre Gordon driving left, checking back in the ball game at that timeout. Working on Monroe, he'll spin around. And yeah. Andre Gordon going to work. Refused to be stopped there, did Andre Gordon. He has 18. There's a pull-up three ball by Olden. That's no good. Rebound cleaned up by Staniford from Troy. You give it to Monroe. He'll hit it. He'll try a three ball. That's no good off the right side. Rontez Roberts snatches away the rebound. Here comes Gordon to Taborn. Taborn lays it up and in. Good break by the Jackets. They come storming out of the timeout with four straight points, and it's a 10-point ball game again. Near steal. Now it is stolen. Good play by Keith Lee, recovered by Rontez Roberts, and the Jackets with a really nice answer there, Sparksy. Yeah, very, very nice. Way to get out of the timeout. Rotez Roberts has it on the left point, gives it to Lathan Jones, who's provided some nice energy for the Jackets, as he usually does. Darren Taborn will give it to Keith Lee in between the circles. who will swing it to Rotez Roberts. Roberts working on DeMeo, gives it to Gordon. Shot fake, spin move in the lane. Fade away jump oh. shot is no good. Lathan Jones oh. rises above everybody to get the rebound, and he's fouled on the putback. Man. Fantastic rebound. Coach Bremingen wants an over the back call, but the official says no, he never touched him. And we like that call, of course. The no, foul is on number 15, Caillou Monroe, his second. Lathan Jones will go to the line where he's a 44% free throw shooter on the year. Misses the first. Substitution Trayvon Archie will check in for Fogarty. Caleb Fogarty takes a seat, the six foot sophomore. Troy does have some uh, several sophomores and juniors playing tonight, so I'm sure that they expect to return a good squad next year as Lathan Jones misses the second free throw as well. Monroe kicks it in the corner. There's a three ball by Staniford. No good. Rebound on the backside by Keith Lee. He's hitting the head by Monroe. That'll be Monroe's third foul. Keith Lee really doing a nice job here in the second half, Sparks. Yes, he has. Has six points and several rebounds. Substitution, Josiah Hudgens will check in for Lathan Jones. Nice job by Lathan. Yeah, him and Keith have been bringing some pretty high energy for this team. As usual, Andre Gordon brings the ball up. He has 18 points. He's gonna get a ball screen from Roberts. Gordon with a stop and go move, pull up from 18 feet. Oh, oh that was sweet. That Andre was Gordon made a lot of layups today. That's uh, the first notable shot from any distance that he's made and it was smooth. Good look by Monroe, but the Jackets do a nice job of converging, and the ball goes out of bounds. The Jackets have it with a 12-point lead after the turnover. Substitution, DeMeo will sit down. Braden Seiler will check in. And 
as we approach the four and a half minute mark in the fourth quarter. Andre Gordon gets a ball screen. Now we'll swing it to Hudgens, who swings it into the corner to Lee. Lee goes inside to Rates Roberts. Roberts will pull back out. Rates Roberts with his usual great all-around game. The ball goes inside from Taborn to Gordon. Gordon with the spin moves, nice knives to the hole, and he's fouled on the way up. Great way there to get some contact. Andre Gordon, rightfully so, looked a little bit fatigued there at times. Which will be gave him a little rest. And it looks like Gordon's found a second we wind, excuse me, as he has done a really nice job of kind of dominating here the last two minutes. Gordon now over two from the line tonight. A 77% free throw shooter looking for point number 21. And he gets it. 13 point lead for the Jackets, 50 to 37. As Olden has the ball, working on Gordon, gives it to Monroe. Monroe swings it to Siler as Troy moves the ball back and forth from the left point to the right point. Siler with a no-look pass that isn't handled by Staniford, but Troy retains possession. There's a three ball by Archie from the right corner, no good. And the ball hits the stanchion behind the backboard. And the Jackets get the ball back. We're going to get a timeout by Troy. 3.52 to go. We've got a 30-second timeout. We'll be back in just a couple of seconds. to 37 is the score. Andre Gordon has 21 points. Darren Taborn with 12. Keith Lee with six big second half points. Rotez Roberts also has six for the Jackets. Olden has 11 to lead Troy. And Caillou Monroe adds 10. Troy changes up their pressure a little bit as they deny the inbounds pass this time. It's stolen by Siler on the inbounds pass intended for Gordon. Three ball by Monroe is tipped by Gordon. I'm sorry, by Roberts at the top of the key. And Monroe's going to pick up a foul trying to get it back. That'll be his fourth. Caillou Monroe with four fouls. He's going to step out for a few minutes as Chris DeMeo checks back in. DeMeo comes in averaging 15.3. The Jackets have done a nice job on him, held him to six so far. Not very many threes. You're right. Andre Gordon with a nice back cut. Oh, what a beautiful pass that goes between the legs of Darren Taborn. Just a little too low. Good idea by Gordon, but a turnover by the Jackets. Olden brings the ball across half court, working on Gordon. 13-point lead, three and a half to go. Olden turns down the ball screen, and it's stripped Ooh. from him. Here comes Andre Gordon from Rates Roberts. Gordon corrals it underneath the basket, swings it to Roberts. Roberts will kick it out to Hudgens. Three ball, right corner, no good. Rebound oh! by Darren Taborn. Way to get up there. Darren Taborn, very active. He's got 14, and it's a 15-point lead for the Jackets. As they have momentarily, at least, grabbed control of the game again. Nice rebound by Rates Roberts, although he doesn't come up with it. No foul called. Ends up in the hands of Olden, who puts it up and in. Olden has 13. Under three to go. Keith Lee has the ball nearly stolen by Archie. And we're going to get a timeout by the Jackets. Coach Willoughby calls timeout to avoid the 10-second call. And with 2.50 to go in the ballgame, we'll step away for a minute and return for the finish.
Price Parks has been a hot topic of conversation, a good conversation because the Jackets have been in the lead in a lot of games. But are the Jackets able to finish this thing without taking bad shots, without making turnovers, and hopefully making some free throws down the stretch? Yeah, I hope so. I think I think they'll be able to do it tonight. It looks like the, the last few possessions, the Jackets know what they're doing. Keith Lee inbounding on the side to Gordon, back to Lee as Gordon was double teamed. He swings it to Darren Taborn. Into the corner to Josiah Hudgens. Hudgens guarded by Staniford. It's going to be double teamed now. The ball goes out of bounds off of Staniford. Good play by Troy. Jackets get a little bit lucky to retain possession. Hudgens with a lob pass to Gordon as he posts up on the inbounds pass. Ball is tipped by Siler into the backcourt. Gordon will work on Siler as he's going to be hand checked. And the official makes the call. Fouls on Siler is second. Still a common foul. One more, though, and the Jackets are shooting. Trey Werns is going to check in, probably for that reason. An excellent free throw shooter, Trey Werns. Keith Lee looking, will get it into Gordon, guarded by Siler. Gordon rips through and drives down the right side. His floater is oh, off the glass oh, and in. Oh, wow. Oh, that move, tough shot by nice. Gordon. He's got 23. And trying to put little doubt into the finish of this ball game. Archie will hand it off to Olden as the Jackets switch off. Staniford has his pass tipped by, Go by Taborn, excuse me. Goes back into his hands. And he'll shoot free throws. Fouls on Rates Roberts who comes up. Limping just a little bit. Hopefully he just got a knee on a knee. Staniford's going to go to the line. He is a 50% free throw shooter on the year. 25 out of 50. Staniford eyes the first. And he hits it. Staniford with five points now. Cuts the lead to 14 with 2.07 remaining. Austin Staniford, the 6'1 junior, 50% free throw shooter. Stays true to form as he goes one out of two, rebound by Darren Taborn. Taborn doesn't let Troy set up the press, press as he gets across half court and we go under two minutes. Trey Werns with it, he gives it to Rates Roberts. Roberts facing some good ball pressure from DeMeo. And there's a trap by Archie, it goes off of Roberts' foot, out of bounds and over to Troy, Caillou Monroe. We'll check in for Staniford. Josiah Hudgens is going to check in for Warrens as the Jackets will play offense defense, it looks like, with Hudgens and Warrens. Archie gives it to Olden, who will bring it across half court. Troy looks to cut into a 14-point Jacket lead. There's a quick pass inside to DeMeo. The shot's no good, but he's fouled by Rates Roberts, who will pick up his second foul, and that'll send Chris DeMeo to the line. Mayo only comes in as a 31% free throw shooter, but he is two of two, and those two looked really good, but they were way back in the first quarter. Mayo has six points, now seven. Warrens will check back in on offense, replacing Hudgens. Mayo adds or eyes the second free throw and hits that as well. 4-4 from the line for Chris DeMeo. He has eight points. Troy backs up a little bit, maybe looking to trap here as the ball goes across half court. Ball is tipped from Darren Taborn, and it is stolen by Troy. Olden has it. Little stop and go move. Left-handed layup up and in. Olden with 15 points. Played a great game, but especially a really nice second half. Gordon, nice. No look pass to Roberts, Ooh. but his pass is stolen, and we've seen this before. Jackets turning it over, trying to run out the clock. Olden's 15-footer is no good. Rebound to Rates Roberts. Roberts up the floor. Jackets with numbers. Ball's going to be tipped from behind and out of bounds off of Monroe. The Jackets will keep it, leading by 10. 108 to go. Keith Lee has it. Gets it to Andre Gordon, who swings it to Wernz. Wernz guarded by Archie. Gives it back to Gordon near half court. Gordon. Drives down the lane, floating move up oh, and in. Andre Gordon now with 25 as he goes over his average of 
It's going to be a foul from Roberts. No harm done. He stops the break a little bit. His third, but no free throws. It's, it's only Sydney's fourth foul. Substitution, Josiah Hudgens checks back in on defense. 56 to 44. Feels like the Jackets have had to kind of battle through this stretch. Yeah. A lot of games in a lot of days, and I'm sure they'll have to do the same tomorrow. But they're and they've winning. done a really nice job of doing that. Archie with a rainbow shot that falls in over the hands of Roberts. And with 42.5 seconds, we're going to get a timeout by Troy. That's not their last timeout. I'm sorry, they'll have one remaining. Archie picks up his first bucket. It's a full timeout, so we'll step away for a minute and be right back. Back at Sydney here for the finish. Yellow Jackets trying to put this one on ice as they lead by 10, but 42.5 remaining, and the Jackets have shown the propensity to turn it over here the last couple of possessions. Andre Gordon gets it, though. He's guarded in the backcourt by Seiler. Gordon will keep it across half court. Being bumped, no call, goes between the legs. We're going to get a turnover into the hands of Monroe, and then we call. I'm um, not going to say anything. <laughs> Foul on Rodzes Roberts. <laughs> That's Roberts' fourth foul. Josiah Hutchins is going to check back in. You in the student section, same reaction. <laughs> I'm not supposed to comment on officials, so I won't. Caillou Monroe with the ball on the side. 29 seconds remaining. Gives it into Trayvon Archie. Archie working on Keith Lee. Gets him in the air. Archie with a floater in the lane that's no good. Rebound tipped by Roberts into the hands of Monroe. He misses the layup, and Roberts battles for the rebound. Still no call. Rebound to Archie. His three ball is tipped into the hands of Monroe, who lays it up and in. Caillou Monroe with 12. Near steal on the inbounds, and it is stolen. As the officials are letting this thing run out. Rebounded by Roberts, and now we get a foul call with 2.2 oh, wow. remaining. 56 to 48, Roberts will march to the other end. He has six points. Roberts is a 52% free throw shooter. Caillou Monroe will foul out. Jaden Owens will check in. Roberts getting a one and one free throw situation. As always, Rotez has battled very hard tonight on both yes, sides of the has. floor. I'd like to see him make these free throws, and up that point total a little bit. Ooh. He misses the free throw, rebound to Seiler. Desperation shot will sail long, and that'll bring us our final of 56 to 48. Jackets win by eight. They are outscored in the fourth quarter, 16 to 15. Sparksy, before we go through the final scoring, what are your final thoughts? Well, the Jackets did hold them very, very well on the three-pointer, limited to that, and uh, still some good defensive on the inside, because obviously since Troy couldn't shoot the three, they had to go inside. But uh, a little bit careless at the end there, but a pretty pretty, pretty good game by the Jackets, especially with this long home stretch. Sure, and you know, I'm sure that uh, Coach Willoughby and everybody involved with the program, they'll admit that this stretch hasn't been their best basketball uh, these four games in seven days, but yeah. they won all four, right? Yes, they did. They won all four. And we got a good one tomorrow. Absolutely. Jackets travel to St. Mary's. Thanks, Parksy, for joining us once again. Thanks to Landon Johnson and Jacob Everingham on camera for me tonight. We appreciate it. The final scoring for the Jackets, Andre Gordon led with 25 points, 12 two-pointers, and a free throw for those 25 points. Next to scoring, Darren Taborn had a three ball, several twos, and one free throw for a total of 14 points. The Old Jackets got six points from Rotez Roberts and Keith Lee. Three points from J Josiah Hudgens and two points from Dominic Durr. 
Troy was led in scoring by Shaden Olden. Shaden had 15 points. Krista Mayo added eight. Caillou Monroe added 12. Five from Austin Staniford, four from Jaden Owens, and two each from Brayden Seiler and Trayvon Archie. We will next be back in action here at SHS TV Pro on Monday when the Jackets host Lehman. Just a reminder, as Sparksy said earlier, no freshman game. The JV game will start promptly at 6, followed by the varsity game at about its normal time. The Jackets improved to 14-3. and three. Let's not lose sight of that. With a 56-48 victory, Andre Gordon leads the Jackets with 25 points and several assists. Darren Taborn adds 14. And Rotez Roberts does his normal thing with six points, several rebounds, several blocks, several assists, and maybe even more steals. Once again, I'm Greg Snyder from SHS TV Productions, along with Caleb Sparks, Landon Johnson, and Jacob Everingham. We appreciate everybody joining us. We'll see you on Monday.